If you've watched my tater tot videos, you know that I love to make food in the air fryer better than just, you know, with the regular frozen stuff. So I'm gonna do it again. This time I'm gonna make hash browns better. First of all, you wanna turn your air fryer on and get it heating to 400 degrees. So what I've got in this bowl is a medium yellow onion chopped and a medium red bell pepper. And to this, I'm gonna add a 24 ounce bag of frozen cubed potatoes for hash browns. There's three things you have to know. They have to be unseasoned. The second thing is they can't be shredded potatoes. They're potato cubes for hash browns. And finally, they can't be those hash brown patties. And do not thaw it. Take it right out of the freezer and dump it in. And now we're just gonna add our spices. Oh, I don't know, you want a teaspoon? I don't know, you gonna have two teaspoons of dried thyme. Same amount of dried sage. You want some red pepper flakes in this? That'd be great. It would make it hotter. And you need about two tablespoons of olive oil. You need some fat in this. And then I need, oh, a teaspoon of salt. I don't know, pretend. You're gonna salt this again, right? And then ground black pepper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grind it up. That's about good. Now, here's why you didn't wanna to add too much salt, is you're gonna fancy these up. I have six ounces of corned beef. And then look, I just chopped it up so that I want those squares about the same size as those potato cubes. And that's the whole thing. You mix this around until everything is well coated. Ta-da. Here's the really technical part. So I'm gonna dump it into my air fryer. Oh, see it sizzled because it was nicely heated. I want this to go for about 20 minutes and I want to stir it every five minutes until the potatoes are golden and brown and everything is completely irresistible. Okay, we are done and look Oh, how crunchy this is. Oh my gosh. Now remember my little thing. The bottom tray in this can fall out, so you kind of want to hold it in place as you dump it all out. Oh, allow me to arrange it properly. Oh, there you go. I'm Mark Scarborough, and this is a recipe that I love because you can make this for an easy breakfast in an air fryer or lunch. You need a fried egg. I don't know. You know ugh. Put stuff on it, as my mother would say. Put stuff on it. I'm gonna go just for the potatoes and a little corned beef. It's probably still super hot, and so here goes. Mm. Come on. It's salty, it's crunchy. Mm. Eat it all day. Mm. This is a recipe from our new book, The Instant Air Fryer Bible. Check it out. You hear it? It's so crunchy and delicious. Mm.